Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new topic in Science 7 which is all about energy resources. This will be the fourth quarter topic and week two. This topic is a milk paste. The year-round warm temperature and availability of water depend on our geographic location. The tropical climate and geologic conditions also provide several sources of energy. Solar energy is the energy from the sun is converted into electrical energy using a solar panel. It is the cleanest and the most abundant renewable energy source available. Example of solar energy is the solar power plants are Pestro Solar in Tarlac City, Helios in Negros Occidental, and First Toledo Solar in Cebu. Geothermal energy, it is contained in the rocks and fluids beneath the Earth's crust and can be found as far down to the Earth's hot molten rock called magma. It is carried by water and stream to the Earth's surface to generate electricity. The geothermal power plants are Makban in Laguna, Tiwi in Albay, and Palimpinon in Negros Occidental. Another energy resources is the hydropower or hydroelectric. It is derived from falling or fast-running water which may be harnessed for useful purposes. It is the conversion of energy from flowing water into electrical energy. Large hydroelectric power plants are Ambuklao in Binguet, Magat in Isabela, and Agos in Lanao del Sur and Lanao del Norte. Another energy resources is the coal. It is a black or brownish black solid rock that can be burned and used as fuel to generate electric power. It is taken under the ground through mining. It is one of the causes of air pollution when used as fossil, which produces carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas. The largest deposit is located in Semerara Island, Anteque. Another energy source is the natural gas. It is used as fuel to produce electricity. It produces at least carbon dioxide among fossil fuels. Its deposits are found offshore in Palawan. The Malampaya gas field employs deep water technology to draw natural gas from deep beneath Philippine waters. Another energy resources is the wind energy or wind power. Winds are used to generate electricity. Wind turbines convert the kinetic energy of the wind into electrical energy. 
windmills are found in Quirino, Ilocos Sur and Bangay, Ilocos Norte. Why we need to conserve energy? Energy conservation plays a very important role because utilization of non-renewable resources also impacts our environment, especially usage of fossil fuel supplies to air and water pollutants such as carbon dioxide. Fossil fuels were formed from plants and animals that lived millions of years ago and are buried deep in the earth. Examples are coal, petroleum or crude oil, and natural gas. We only have coal and natural gas in the country. Carbon dioxide or CO2, which is naturally present in the air, in small amounts is produced by burning fossil fuels like the natural gas and the petroleum. Studies show that an increase in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere increases atmospheric temperature, resulting in global warming. 